Joe, given the, the point guard situation, even Theo going out tonight, what, what does that mean for you being kind of really the only point guard on the team right now? Yeah, um, I just think that's just time for me to get ready to take on more of a workload. Um, you know, I just got to make sure that I'm doing what I can to take care of my body and um, making sure that I'm ready to play a lot of minutes. Um, you know, I, I was tired a little bit, but, you know, I just didn't want to let my teammates down because I saw how in the second half everybody was fighting. And, you know, even though we didn't do it in the first half, um, you know, just that made me just want to keep going, keep going. I really didn't care about coming out of the game. Even if I was tired, I just tried to push past that and realize that my team's out here fighting and I'm going to fight with them. And um, so, you know, with Theo going out, it's just crazy to how that happened because he was the one that would have gave me some time to, to get a little rest. But um, with him going out, you know, now um, – I'll be ready to take on the workload, and so I'm prepared for it. Roy said that y'all had a, a conversation a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. He kind of told you you needed to, to relax, I guess. Yeah. What was what was kind of behind that? Yeah, um, you know, me and Coach have built a great relationship, and I just asked him um, the other day when we were talking, just what do you want me to do as a, as a point guard, as a leader of this team, um, to, to do it? I mean, to help our team to win. And, you know, he told me the biggest thing is just relax and just go out there and be Joe Barry and play your game. And, you know, that's why I did not. I didn't try to force anything. Um, and I just went out there and just tried to play the best as I can. And, you know, that talk really helped me as far as uh, from a mental standpoint. And so um, that was the biggest thing, just relax and play ball. Roy kind of threw his hands up when he was asked about the three-point defense. What do you think? Obviously, in the first half, they were... Yeah. Burying it. What do you think is the issue um, with you guys right now? You know, it's just one of those things. I mean, in the first half, most of their threes were, I mean, deep. I mean, really nothing you can do about that. And I think that we did a great job of just trying to <coughs> test every three-point shot, and they just made it. Um, and, you know, it's, that's why I said it's just hard to, to say what else, you know, what else can you do if they're hitting – deep shots three feet behind the three-point line. So we did our best to try to close out, and that's something that we have to work on each and every practice. But, um, you know, not going to win too many games with guys hitting, teams hitting 15 three-point uh, shots a game. With the situation at point, you can't even play off the ball really now to even, like, steal a few seconds here and there. How is that sort of a challenge for you guys? Yeah, um, you know, the good thing is is that I trust – other guys and I believe in the other guys to, to make plays and to uh, you know just be basketball players and um, so you know I don't necessarily have to take on the workload by myself um, I got other guys like in the second half uh, we did a good job of just running the plays and make sure guys were screening and getting you know to keep players open and getting guys open and we did a good job of getting a little, a little mixture of getting the ball inside, uh, inside and outside. So, um, you know, while I have to take home more of the, the point guard duties, we do. I do have teammates that um, I believe in and that uh, can help me out. Joel, this is kind of an odd question to ask you at this time of this season for this program, but given the way things started out tonight, with Theo going down, I mean, down to lose, and they're bearing threes everywhere, is there something you guys can actually build on because you did climb back and tie the game and you were positioned the last minute to win? Yeah, um, when we came in, I told the guys, just use this game as a learning lesson. I know that we lost three in a row, um, but, you know, it's not its not a time to panic. Um, you know, while everybody on the outside has to say what they have to say, it's the ACC basketball, and that's where everybody comes to compete every single night. And, you know, with what happened with, um, you know, Jaleek not being here and then Theo going down, you know, that's just all part of the testimony and us coming together and, you know, guys stepping up and playing a different role. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, we want Theo here, we want Jaleek here as well, but um, it just gives a chance for other guys to know that they have to step up and be able to help this team.